Nowadays, it is getting easier to create large language model applications due to the advancement of technology. However, creating responsive AI applications that leverage APIs to provide natural language or plugin generation is expensive and it is hard to actually construct. This is where I introduce LLM application, a new project that lets you build an LLM app in 30 lines of code without a vector database. Now, it's a new Python library that helps you create and launch AI powered applications based on the most up to date knowledge available in your data sources. You can use it to answer natural language queries asked by your own user or you can run it off of data transformation pipelines with large language models. This is something that I'm gonna showcase throughout today's video, where I showcase how you can create large language model applications and basically just going a little bit more in depth on this new tool of LLM app. So with that thought, stay tuned and let's get straight to it. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. I have another large language model app creation tool, and this is something that was developed by pathway.com. You're able to build your own intricate large language model application in 30 lines of code, which is absolutely amazing. There is no vector database required, and it is very simple to use. Now, in this case, we can just showcase one little example where there was a ChatGPT Python API for sales application created with LM app. In this case, this is an application to find real-time discounts, deals, as well as sales prices from various online markets around the world. Now, this project basically provides an HTTP REST endpoint and allows for specific locations or from different input file types like CSV, JSON line, PDF, Markdown, or TXT to utilize it with Pathways LM application functionalities. And what this does is that it creates a real-time data pipeline powered by OpenAI's large language model in Python. Now this pipe, like this pipeline then takes the data from multiple input sources and then it employs the OpenAI API embedding, as well as the chat completion endpoint to generate responses from an AI assistant. In this case, it's sourcing the best prices from Amazon from a single input and it gives you the best output that is required. This is fairly easy to deploy as well as create and something that we'll take a look at throughout today's video. We actually have a steady growing community on the Patreon private discord. So if you're interested in this, definitely take a look at this because there's so much value being dropped over here in terms of AI subscriptions being given to you, consulting, networking opportunities, and so much more. We're just evolving in the world of AI. So if you're interested in all that, definitely take a look at this link in the description below. Give World of AI on Twitter a follow. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos. Now, I just want to demonstrate the comparison between the application that was created by LM app versus ChatGPT. We can see from the previous video clip that we showcase how it was able to find the discounts relatively fast, as well as where you can actually purchase the data shoes. Now, if we give this exact same prompt to ChatGPT, it lacks the ability to provide the discount where you can purchase the shoes as well as when you should actually purchase it. This basically just showcased how intricate this application is able to find relative information with its APIs that are given. Now, this is something that we'll demonstrate later on in the video by taking a deeper dive into how you can construct your own large language model app. If you would like to book a one on one with me where I can offer my consulting services to you guys, definitely take a look at this link in the description below. Take another look at an application that was created with LM app, which is a Dropbox AI chat. This is a Dropbox AI chat, which is a tool that can swiftly extract and summarize information from your private, extensive and unstructured documents stored in Dropbox. We can see that it offers the same functionalities as OneDrive as well, but in simple terms, it helps you find and understand important details in your files on these cloud storage platforms, which makes it so much easier for you to access and use your data. It's something that you can construct fairly easy from a single prompt and from a few lines of code. This is something that is allowing you to create quite intricate applications and it's something that you can implement into various different workflows with a few lines of code. So let's take a look at how this basically functions. 
we can first start off with the language model app and it starts off by reading and collecting different types of documents stored in S3. Now this is a data storage service and it's something that uses to retrieve and export different inputs and outputs of data. It processes various different documents and organizes them into structured databases. It basically then works on then outputting it by waiting on what the user is going to ask through different questions or inputs through a website or an application. Now, when the user asks for a question or an, gives it an input, the application then uses the organized database, which we can see on the left side, and it finds the relevant information that has been structured and, and then uses OpenAI's API to provide an answer in a way that sounds natural like a human response. Now, just note that you're able to use Hugging Face APIs, so that basically means that you can utilize various different open source models. You're not just restricted to using OpenAI's API, which is cool. Now, another cool thing is that this application is quite smart enough to keep learning, which basically means that it has a continuous memory feature, which allows you to add new pieces of information to the document, and the app will update its database using its knowledge feature and this can help answer future questions obviously and it can help stay up to date with its retrieval augmented memory system this is something that will make the system of large language model applications smarter as time goes which is very very cool this is just a basic way as to how it operates we can see from the previous uh, explanation you give the info it then goes into the large language model makes it sound more human-like and more natural and gives you the output in real time now why might you use lm app there's six different features which we'll take a look at firstly you have simplicity and what this basically means is that it simplifies your ai deployment process and they have done a great job by consolidating capabilities where they're like by making sure sorry that you don't need a vector database such as pinecone you have quadrant and so many other vector databases that are needed to create lm apps in this case you don't even need them you don't need langchain you don't need cache you don't need an api framework this is something that will make your lm app so much more efficient as it doesn't require other apis as well as different modules that might slow down or become a hassle to basically make sure that you have to configure on a daily basis another feature is this real-time data syncing feature which allows you to utilize and enable seamless synchronization of both structured and unstructured data from diverse sources you can basically facilitate real-time retrieval augmented uh, generation which is rag you have effortless alert configuration which allows you to configure alerts for key business events you are able to scale it a little bit better in a way of handling heavy data loads as well as high usage without compromising on the performance you have comprehensive monitoring like features which provides valuable insight to how the model is behaving the ability to replay actions for dick bugging purposes as well as enhancing the quality of responses that are generated lastly you have security feature which is designed to have an enterprise grade security in mind by utilizing pii this will make sure that you're able to run this application quite securely now it also gives you the feature to run it on private cloud with local lms which is for added security and this might be some of the couple of reasons why you would want to use this over many of the other application tools for creating large language models such as DeFi, because in that case you might have a user-friendly interface to create large language model applications but this over here gives you a lot more customizable options to create different applications with better simplicity, better scalability, as well as better security. To get started, you're going to need to make sure that you have a couple of prerequisites ready. You need to make sure that you have the latest Python version installed or anything above 3.10, making sure that you have pip installed, which is fairly easy to do so. It's a simple command that you can input into command prompt if you want more information on this you can simply just click on this button and it will tell you the command that you need to input you'll need to make sure that you have your model ready in this case if you're going to be using open ai's model you'll need to have the api key ready so that you can create the environment for it 
you will also need to make sure that you have docker installed and this is to run the different samples as well as the ui so once you have fulfilled all of these five different requirements we can then move forward with the use case in this case they have stated all the commands that you'll need you'll first need to start off with the git clone command this is simply by copying this going into command prompt and pasting it once you're in that you you can uh, once you have cloned that sorry you can go into the lm app file by typing in cd lm app you can set the different environments in this case they have already basically made it simple for you to input and create these environments in this case they showcase what app you want to use what pathway that you will be hosting it on as well as which api you want to use and in terms of the open ai api tokens you can set the tokens that will be used to create different apps as well as the pathway cache so you just need to specify the different contents over here in each line and then you can input it into your command prompt with that actual lm app file once you have done that you can build and run the app using docker which you just need to compose and run and then it will host off your local host and this way you can then start off by setting up the the different files that you will need and it's basically states all the commands that you'll need to create different apps they also showcase how you can launch your own user interface it's fairly easy and it's something that you can do with the following commands now i'm not gonna go through this step by step because it's something that you should definitely take a look at on your own time because this is quite intricate and it'll require a full-on video but if you do want me to set up different large language model apps using lm app i can definitely do so in a future video that way you can get more insights as to how you can run and create different tools with this new application but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you got some sort of value out of this video definitely check out my previous videos on this channel definitely subscribe like this video and there's a lot of content so definitely take a look at that uh, if you guys haven't followed world of ai on twitter i highly recommend that you do so so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news if you guys haven't checked out the patreon page definitely do so so you can basically access our private discord and if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one with me you can do so with the following links in the description below but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas